Hey guys, Lacey Lee here, back with another Erin Condren vertical plan with me. I'm using a kit from last year from Creative Planning Co. I'm not sure if she is currently open right now for business, um, but if she is, definitely, definitely, definitely go check her out. I love her shop so much. She's amazing has the best sticker paper like you'll see me lift this up several times because I kept messing up but it is so removable and it is beautiful and it's smooth and soft and I just love it so much so I decided I wanted to pull in some simply gilded watch to you because let's face it I'm addicted um, this blue does not match perfectly but I was like eh, close enough <laughs> I'm okay with it I love the simply gilded washi that I have and I'm like steady building my collection even though I really shouldn't be but I am um so today is Sunday the 26th of November so if you are also recovering from Black Friday small business Saturday and like like <laughs> stressing about pending Cyber Monday like I am you know, I feel you. I'm with you. I spent way too much money on Etsy and Shopify this weekend. And so now I'm like, okay, I need to like chillax to the max. So I am now going into the sidebar to put this sticker up top, but I wanted some bow washi above and below it. So what I do is I just kind of lay the washi down so I know how far down I'm supposed to go. Um, and I just leave the roll like kind of laying there, put the full box down and then cut off um, on either side to make sure that it is even and I decided to go ahead and finish my sidebar so I put down some more washi of this week header then I do a habit tracker for flossing and separate everything by a little bit of washi because I love this pattern wreath washi um, then I do a habit tracker for fitness my goals for the week I think this is kind of going to be like a um, sorry for that um, kind of like a daily cleaning habit maybe I'm not really sure I just have it there it might be I don't know what I'm gonna do there <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest with you uh, then I put down a little to buy um, small list and some more washi from the kit and simply kill the washi I have a real problem okay then I go on and start putting down the date covers this is like one of the rare times that I put a date gate cover down before I put down any headers or boxes or anything. It was kind of weird for me, but I don't I don't know why I did that first, but I did. And then, guys, I decided that I was going to give myself a challenge. I have not done no white space in a long time. And I don't, I guess because there's so much white in this kit, I was like, eh. Let's make it no white space. So that's what I did. And I want to know your opinion. Do you think it's too much? Do you think I could have, um, I should have just left the white space and let it be or what? Um, let me know your opinion. So I get the to-do headers down and then I'm looking and the way Creative Planning Co. has her, um, full boxes, you get nine on the sheet and you also get, uh, nine of the checklist, which is amazing it is so awesome I was so excited about that I love 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 I can't say it enough I love her kids so I just decided to go ahead and put in the checklists I don't know why I did this differently um well maybe I don't know I keep changing up the order in which I put things I don't know I can't decide how I want to do it um but I think after this week I may go back to doing full boxes up top to do list in the bottom full box because that way you have decoration on the bottom with the washi and on top with the full boxes I don't know I feel crazy pants when I'm trying to decide but whatever so then I put the pink full box in the middle and then kind of just spread them out from there didn't work out perfectly the way I wanted it to but I was like ah, close enough it'll work <laughs> um, and then I put these full boxes that have like this little framed area. Those aren't my favorite just because if there's a lot going on, then that's going to like throw it off. And I feel like I have to cover up the whole box just so the frame doesn't like distract you from things. But I don't think it's really going to be an issue with these, with the way that I did my kind of um, events for, for those days. But I went ahead and put in bits and pieces and decided I was going to do little things this week because I mean, why not? 
So I put a fitness habit tracker in the sidebar, but I also decided to put in the little TV little things to put what workout I do on every day. I only did workouts um, Monday through Saturday because I make Sunday a rest day or I just go for a walk or something like that. I'm really trying to get back into my fitness, so I hope that works out. I also put in little things for <clears throat> meals. Okay, I say I hope this works out, but I know I need to make it work out. So, like, I'm I'm goaling to myself that I will do better. <laughs> um, so, I put in the meal little things. Then on Monday, Thursday, Sunday, I put in Instagram little things to remind myself. On Tuesday, I put in a little thing to take my niece home. And on Sunday, I put in a little thing for meal prepping. So, that is kind of what's going on there. I wanted to use up a lot of this kit just because I loved it so much and the colors are so beautiful like this it's not really a plummy purple but it's like a mix between maroon and purple and that mauvey pink oh just makes my heart sore and then I mean come on that blush is like I mean that pink is like a blushy oh it's just beautiful I can't I can't get enough <laughs> I feel crazy pants but I love it um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. What am I doing next? I decided with like the bits and pieces, even though I had that header there, um, I was, I went ahead and put in like some, some of the events for the day just to fill up the spaces there. So let's see, I am doing Wednesday right now, which is my Bible study, um, at our church. So we have church on Wednesday, but it's more of like a, like a study, not really like a full church service. I don't know how to explain it. We have a, so a smaller or a shorter song service, and then the preacher really goes, he goes into like a study. Like we'll do several weeks on one thing sometimes and just do a study of something instead of just like a, a sermon. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> If you don't, message me and I'll try to explain it better. So on Tuesday, I had chorus rehearsal and then I put that little car in for driving my niece home. I'm sorry, I'm trying to avoid yawning. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just tired. <laughs> I put in a little um, laptop icon to mark that I have a staff meeting this week. And then I decided to go ahead and put in my gold foiled work um, labels. I did make those myself. If you would like a tutorial, let me know. Um, Thursday, my, I put lesson plans due on Thursday, and this is the last week that you'll see that, because I don't know why I keep putting that it's due on Thursday when they're now due on Monday, they got changed. I don't know what my problem is. I just kept forgetting. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's what it was. So I went ahead and put in that lesson plans are due. I was having issues with something was crooked, and I didn't know what it was, so there's my struggle. And now looking back at it, I think it was the very bottom little thing I think I overlapped the simple gilded washi a little bit so then I'm not really sure what's happening Friday night um and then I was like oh weekend banner let me do that and I just covered up a couple of the checklists because the weekends I really don't do a whole lot if I'm gonna get some stuff done it's gonna be something that takes like an all day event I'm so sorry, guys. An all-day event, so uh, it will have like an ha a half box or another separate list or something like that. So I just took up some of the checklist for my weekend banner. And then while I was over there, I was like, let's go ahead and do Sunday. So I stuck in a half box that matched that full box for church. Um, we'll have church the morning and the afternoon, and then we'll have young people's choir practice because we are coming up on Christmas time. So we are starting... Um, to prepare for our Christmas song service. Um, I think we're going to do it the 17th of December. So um, we got to start preparing because it's going to take a little bit. Then I put in a sticker for date night Saturday night. Don't know what we're going to do, but I put it in there because I want to go on a date night. And then I just filled up the remaining space on Friday with a half box. It'll probably turn out probably turn out to be me time, just chilling and relaxing. My husband doesn't get home until almost 8.30 or 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I'll have some time to just relax. I'll probably end up planning and filming <laughs> in that time um, in this Erin Condren. So... That is what I put there. And then I turned back to Monday. And I am trying to start making Monday afternoons like a major cleaning day for myself. So all the things that I've avoided previously in the week or I know I'm going to avoid 
later on in the week. I'm trying to start getting done then. So if I haven't washed clothes or folded them and put them away, like, I need to do that. And so I made the, the list for uh, Monday to be, like, a major laundry day. Then up in the to-do list, I stuck a trash can for taking out the trash. Um, I need to make sure I pick up my medicine on Monday because I've been out for a couple of days, and that's no good. Um, and then I put a bill due on Sunday. I do move it down to the bottom on Sunday and Thursday. I'm sorry, Friday, just because it bothered me being up in the spread. Um, so I had, it's the first of the month, so a lot of my bills are due, but those are the two biggest ones that are due this week. So I just went ahead and stuck those in. But this is how the spread finished, or I'm sorry, this is how the spread turned out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!